secrets to very long hair and healthy hair is less breakage and i already explained that in this video so i'm sure you already watched this video in today's video i am going to blow your mind like i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> all i'm saying is i'm on your team what i'm going to tell you is going to blow your mind so just get ready what's up on video gang i'm divine and in today's video i'll be telling you guys the skill you need to grow your hair this skill is very important i did not learn it from my mother i did not learn it from my auntie i learned it by myself and if you are a mother or you are not a mother or you are a sibling whatever you are a father whatever you are you need this skill if you don't have this skill your hair is not going to grow long your hair is not going to grow healthy your hair is going to remain stagnant like nobody can argue with me i came full force on this i can stand my ground and tell you that you can never grow your hair if you don't have these skills and all natural hair youtubers both people who have long or short hair they know that this skill is very important in your hair care journey even if you eat well even if you have the best hair products even if your two parents have a gene of hair growth in their family even if you keep on mixing different mixtures they tell you to mix on youtube and you keep adding protein to your hair or you keep taking diet six or omega-3 fatty acids your hair is not going to grow if you don't know this skill yes and what is that skill well that skill is oh yeah drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. <coughs> the skill is the skill of combing it's simple as it is the skill of combing if you don't have to comb your hair hey my sister you will go through pain you will go through pain oh i got product in my eye hold on I'm just kidding you need to learn how to comb your hair right because if you don't know how to comb your hair right your hair is not going to grow sad truth the mistake many people make is that they're like divine my hair is very full my hair is not growing divine my hair is stagnant my hair is not growing i already talked about your hair plateau if you don't know what a hair plateau is go and watch this video in today's video i'm going to be breaking down the reason why your hair has stopped growing or it's not even growing because you don't know how to comb your hair so now i have five tips to comb it and these five tips you learn it you learn it for life you learn it you know it for life because it will help you help your children help everybody around you on their hair growth journey so five steps to combing your hair the first step is to divide your hair into sections when you want to comb your hair whether you are natural relaxed transitioning make sure you divide your hair to at least four sections if you can two sections but to reduce your pain and to reduce breakage so that you can get to the root of your hair so that under growth or new hair that is or baby hair that is under your hair can get the tangled and so that your hair doesn't tie up in knots together here and cut your long hair do you understand so that your hair is able to grow and the things that you're applying to your hair the hair products you're applying to your hair can circulate from the end to the top of your hair strand so make sure that you divide your hair into sections so you'll be able to work your comb directly to your scalp the next step is to moisturize your hair now before you can learn how to moisturize your hair you have to understand your hair porosity if you still don't know what your hair porosity is and you're on my channel like you subscribe to my channel i don't know what your hair porosity is my dear that's a whole long story for another day because i have been saying this over and over again just make sure you check out this video but for the sake of this video your hair porosity is knowing how your pores are so that products can get into your strands so now if you are low porosity you might like likely use the liquid and conditioner and oil method lco method but if you are high porosity you might likely use the liquid oil then conditioner because your pores are open and you use the oil to close the pores you understand once you understand your hair porosity you can now comb your hair and moisturize your hair now by the time you're moisturizing your hair the next step which i forgot to mention is to comb from ends to roots make sure that you comb from ends to roots before you can come from the roots to your ends by the time you finish combing from the ends to the roots make sure you comb both behind your hair and in front of your hair people only comb in front of their hair thinking that their hair is well detangled but you have to comb from behind or under your hair and on top of your hair the next step you have to do which is not compulsory but personally i believe you want your hair to grow if you actually want your hair to grow this year you should trim your hair you should trim single strand knots every time 
every freaking time your hair gets tangled when you style your hair or comb your hair whatever you do to your hair your natural hair is likely to get tangled at one side of your hair and because of that you are liable to have single strand knots they love each other like it can get married as they would have given birth to children and the children are not so you have to trim or dust whatever you want to call it because if you don't do that you are making split ends and split ends in the end equals to damaged hair and less hair growth so it is not compulsory but if you are very very serious with growing your hair trim your hair anytime you see single strand knots when you comb your hair and the most important part if you watch to the end of this video i'm proud of you like i am very proud of you because i'm sure this video is going to be very short yeah and somebody that not make it to the end of this video just literally wasted their seconds because this is the most important part of combing your hair is to stretch your hair now when you, by the time you finish combing your hair mm, your hair is reverting your hair is going back to its natural form even if you are relaxed your hair is reverting like how would i explain it? your hair is just going to have you ever combed your hair if you are natural by the time you finish combing it shrinks back up just kind of loosening up the product is on the hair now it is time to see immediately you comb your hair what you need to do is to stretch your hair either use braids or use twist or use the band method the band banding method or band technique method or you blow out your hair now nobody should come for me in the, in the comment section and come and start telling me it's not compared to blow your hair it's not compared to come and um, stretch your hair so let me tell you if you want to wear your hair out the next day or say yeah you have a meeting tomorrow and you're going for a class or a, whatever see if you don't stretch your hair and you leave your hair in, in its natural state after you comb your hair you know, and you, you sleep like that you, you just comb rubbish sorry to break it straight to you you just come raw and bitch because your hair is going to go back inside like i see you did not comb your hair at all like i'm referring to people that are natural even if you are not natural and you are relaxed to maintain hair growth and help the products that you just applied on your hair to work for your hair if you stretch your hair in braids or twists by the time you are going back to sleep your hair is protected your hair is not there is less friction now if you are saying divine i'm not going to sleep i just want to comb my hair and go out let me tell you stretch your hair in twist so by the time that like 10 minutes after you comb your hair and you lose out your twist your hair is stretched a little and it's not shrunken and tangled no, you even though your hair is going to get tangled to each other so by the time you stretch it out when you comb your hair your hair is like able to grow in short your hair would have stretched like at least 0. Point some, 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 something inches yes I give it to me. <laughs> what it is. So usually, yeah, this is usually how much I'll take. <laughs> Your hair would have spread a little and it will be less tangled. And I told you that tangles equals to breakage. So it, your breakage will be less by the time you stretch it. And this is the thing you're not noticing. Most YouTubers that have long hair, they are doing this. They always do it. If you study all of them, they always do it. They always stretch their hair. Immediately they comb that section. And yours truly, I do it. Mm, so I just gave you the sauce for free. So make sure you check out this video if you want to learn how to blow out your hair without heat damage. Or this video if you not learned how to reduce breakage. Because reducing breakage will help your hair grow this year. And really, really thank you guys. We already crossed 5,000 subscribers by the time I'm recording this. Like, it is amazing. I was so close to 6,000 subscribers. Like, crazy. Crazy. Like, I am so grateful for all of you. 